Hello, good morning folks. Uh, this is uh, Mike, Riverside Mike. Um, I'm going to do an early blog uh, for early this morning. Um, I'm just walking up, uh, bright lights. Apparently we've got to have a car coming at 6 o'clock in the morning up the street. <laughs> bright lights! Um, so anyways, uh, this is on Thursday morning at 6 a.m. I'm walking up to my local store. I'm going to give like a little tour of, you know, the city of Riverside. Um, as I'm walking from my house, there's my house behind me. And um, I'm going to, actually what I want to do here, okay, never mind. Anyways, um, back to what I was talking about. I'm just going to take a little bit of a tour on my way up to the grocery store. Uh, Right now you can hear all the traffic on the freeway. I don't think you guys can hear it, but there's a lot of traffic. Um, the governor's pretty much got everything closed still. Uh, we have, right now, California, um, uh, Anaheim, uh, Disneyland, and Knott's Berry Farm, and a lot of the amusement parks are kind of like in a big battle right now with our governor um, because they want to reopen their theme parks, um, which Florida already has. Um, what, and I, you know, I get it somewhat, you know, uh, they have these uh, barber shops opened up, uh, they recently opened up restaurants and stuff, gyms are reopened up, but the owners of the theme park, they don't understand why that you know why they can't reopen up you know if they are within the guidelines and stay safe you know sorry I had to turn my phone there and you know quite honestly you know I can't blame them in a way uh, Florida's already proven to to keep you know things safe over there so yeah they haven't had any cases since they've been open They've been open for about a couple months now. So, there's a big battle going on. About 28,000 jobs are gonna be lost just from Disney Company alone. The people that work at the theme park, the ones that make the food, the ones that you know do the maintenance. Um, you know, it's, it's now becoming a question of, you know, why can't they reopen up and, and do some things you know that are you know different so let me know what you guys thoughts on that is I mean I I see it both ways the governor wants to keep keep it safe he want, doesn't want to open up until it is safe he's listening to basically at least at least he's listening to his you know health experts you know health the health department you know, so it's becoming a question now to you know do they really want to open and take the chance because we all know how california is kind of crazy you know when we open stuff up you know so anyways um so yeah it's uh, six o'clock in the morning uh, you can still it's the sun's barely coming up um right now we're in the plaza i just got to cross in the street this is what it looks like there's the parking lot over there to the left um, you got Nordstrom and <coughs> Joanne and some Marshalls is there. Uh, I think Nordstrom just filed for bankruptcy, if I'm not mistaken. You quote me on that, but I think they just filed for bankruptcy in, in California. So, so yeah. So, no, I'm just taking a, some pictures and stuff of what it looks like. It's pretty much a ghost town. Everything's, you know, locked up, of course due to the C-19. So, I'm just gonna take you a, kinda like a, a walk tour, show you what it's like. Oh look, there's a cat, he just went down into the, uh, <laughs> into the drain system. He's, yeah, he's, he goes down there. Every time I come up here, he's, oh, he always takes, he always goes down there all the time. It's like he's, that's like his home. And <laughs> every time I come up this street here, He's always running along the side of the curb here, and he always goes down into the into the drain. It's like his personal area, I guess. 
Okay, so now we're coming up to, uh, there's the famous California Pizza Kitchen. I ate there one time. Uh, they're okay, I guess, but, you know, not my cup of tea for pizza, really. Although we have some nice, they do have some pretty nice places around here. You know. There's a the guy steam cleaning um, over there, you can hear him. Um, Dude, they they screw, they steam clean this every single morning. Every morning they steam clean this whole entire area. And you can see here the tables are all goes like that. They allow outdoor dining now, which is kind of cool. And they got like all these chained up now, so that people can uh, you know sit at least you know when they come here and eat. Um, over there across the way. Uh, that over there is a uh, uh, Habit Burger. You can see it right there. I heard it's really good. Habit Burger Grill. I heard that's really, really good. Over here to my right is like a, a sushi, sushi, a seafood place, like right there. Over here, uh, there's another seafood place, bar, uh, barbecue seafood place. GameStop is there. Daniel's jewelers, like everybody's like people can afford to buy jewelry, right? See so right there that that's what they have, you know, different um, bowls and stuff. It's all seafood related. Looks pretty good. I like to try it out one of these days. And over there across the way, but over there, that's the uh, Regal Theater. Um, they aren't they're not open yet. It is a nice theater. I've been there a couple times. This Regal Theater. They have opened some theaters. But uh, only a few, I believe. Um, here is the um, Dickie's Barbecue Pit. Now they sell like, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff like um, barbecue uh, stuff. <laughs> if that tells you a lot. Jersey Mike's, you know, they sell subs, juice it up. They sell like uh, juices and stuff like that. Cold Stone, which is an ice cream place. Um, over there, across the way, that's another seafood place, a really popular seafood place. It's been closed ever since the COVID. On the weekend, here alone, that place is so much, so much, so much people there, so it's pretty amazing. And over here, you got Johnny's Burgers. Um, and here's a Cold Stone right here. Cold Stone, you know, everything's pretty much opened up except, you know, they're doing the social distancing thing. You gotta wear a mask, stuff like that, whatnot. So here's my favorite spot, Johnny's Burgers. This is my favorite place to go and eat. Uh, they sell really good burgers, man. I'm telling you, they're pretty bomb. <laughs> uh, right here, uh, this is more like a Hawaiian. I have never eaten here, like a Hawaiian barbecue place. I kind of want to try it out, try it out one of these days. But supposedly they sell Hawaiian barbecue stuff pretty good eh um, over here you have blaze pizza which is baked pizza it's baked they don't fry it they bake it um, I haven't had that either I was been wanting to try it and then um, whoa this is new epic wings Wow what's what I <laughs> I <laughs> hmm that used to be a, a they used to be a shake place where they sold shakes. Now it's like, well, let's see. Oh, looks like they cater towards um, epic meal deals. Oh, so they cater towards like uh, chicken wings, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see? Football party packs, uh, chicken wings. This is why Americans are fat, guys. This is why, because we have food like this. <laughs> and over there on the corner, that's a uh, Chipotle's. Um, a real popular place here in the, among the states. And over here, these are just cell phone businesses. Uh, you know, T-Mobile, AT&T. You know, all that good stuff. So now we're coming up to uh, another restaurant. Um, it's Pickup Sticks. Uh, they sell, I think, like Chinese, Chinese food style, American Chinese food. It's kind of like uh, um, Panda Express. You know what I'm talking about. Um, over there, just Trader Joe's. They're known to sell stuff like um, organic foods, vegetables, stuff like that. Um, 
they're they're a pretty good place. I've been there a couple times with my mom back in the day. CVS, which is like a drugstore, uh, like a pharmacy drugstore kind of thing. And then over here is Chase Bank. That's where I bank at. Um, so now we're coming up to um, my grocery store, which is uh, Vaughn's. But I gotta take a look around. As you can see, it's pretty dead. They they open up here at 6:30 in the morning until um, 11 o'clock at night. They want everybody to wear masks and stuff. So, and this is where we're gonna end this video. Um, I haven't done a video in a while, ever since the C-19 came out, so it's been a while, it's been a long time, so I have, this is something I wanted to do today, to show you guys around, you know, well, I can't get a card I guess, I thought they were opened up at 6.30, but I guess not, those are the sales of shopping carts, I can't get one, they got it, they got it chained off for some reason, unless they're open up on this end. The other day they said they were open up down at that end, but they keep changing up. You know, they keep oh one day you know we're open up at this end, and the other day we're closing this end. And there's a Chevron gas station, Jack in a Box over there. <laughs> one pam, one you know, kind of point going that direction. Then we're up the street we have Wendy's and some other places, which are so so like eh. Anyhow, um, I'm about to end this video because I'm about to go and do some shopping, but we're going to take a look over here. Over there across directly from me, that is Seize Candies. That's like one of the original Seize Candies that has been here for years, ever since the old Vons. So, they've been there for quite some time, ever since I've lived here and ever since that I've, I think ever since I was born, this place has existed. The original Seize Candies, I think it was founded in like San Francisco, I believe it was the original place. And then over here you got the mattress firm and uh, of course where you buy bedding and stuff like that. Um, so now I'm going to the other side of everything. I'll show you around over here before I go back and head on and do my shopping. This over here is brand new. All this stuff is brand new. It's been here for about a couple of years or so. It has a drive through They have a drive through coffee shop. <laughs> that tells you how lazy Americans are, right? To those uh, the guys, my friends in the UK, this is why Americans are fat. Over there, there's the coffee, bean, and tea leaf. Right there in the corner, right there. Yeah, they sell everything from coffee to tea. And they have a drive through how convenient for the American people, right? You just gotta, you know, go around and <laughs> and just uh, go to the drive-thru and say, I want my coffee. Of course, you know, here we have a Starbucks like in every corner. You know, the $15 coffee. <laughs> so, anyway, this is a side of Bonds. That's where I'm gonna go grocery shop. Just where we're doing most of my groceries. So... Okay, guys, um, thank you for watching this video. Um, as soon as I get done with this, I will post it on uh, YouTube. I appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up, you know, and that would be much appreciated as this is my first video since the COVID. Um, I was doing some videos before the COVID, the C-19 came, and, and now this is my first one since. So I'll leave you with this beautiful, uh, this beautiful uh, sunrise view looking over, and I will see you later, okay? Take care, my friends, and have a lovely day. Take care. Bye-bye.